Oh. It smells funny down here. What are you doing down there? Excuse me, young man. I shouldn't be talking to strangers. Although, it appears you cut your face. You should put some ointment on that. Can I have my boat back? Oh, is this yours? Of course. Oh, ah. You know, guts can lead to infections. Did you have your tetanus shot? I, I don't know. Immunization shots are very important to very important to curb the spread of infectious diseases. It's a myth that vaccines cause autism. Thanks, mister. I'm going now. Make sure you tell that to your mother. We can't have another epidemic on our hands. If you put your mind to it, your possibilities are profoundly limited by external factors beyond your control. Twitter notification. A bunch of people just liked someone else's tweet and not yours, while you grow fatter by the day to punish yourself for going bald. I cry after 2 a.m. when anyone is nice to anyone else on the show I'm watching by myself. Metaphorically speaking, aren't we all stuck on a delayed subway? Drowning out muffled announcements with a podcast we can't stand? What matters is not how many times you fall or anything. recorded it onto a DVD. Last week you came in here with a big bag of rocks. Crystals. And I bought that big bag of rocks Crystals. from you and I said, thank you, thank you, Essence. And you said this, you told me last week, Essence, this big, I, these that the rocks would get rid of my migraines and they would solve that issue that I've been having. And they haven't done a damn thing. Crystals. I don't crystals. like having to slam my fist down upon my knee, but I want to refund. Damn. 
can. Maybe if you bought the DVD, you'd know how to- I spent 50 bitcoins and a thousand few star credits on a big bag of bunk. Yeah, Dan, I already spent your money on a bunch of blank DVDs, so you're not getting a refund. But I can offer you a free laced smoothie. Ooh, wait, what kind of smoothie is it? Free. Ah, five o'clock somewhere, right? S's? S's. <laughs> this apple tastes funny. No, it does not. You're just eating it wrong. Let me see it. Oh, you're right. That is weird. I told you. You know, I really wish you had better foresight. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's a wishing apple. Quick, make, make uh, a wish. I wish that I had... Uh, Hurry. I wish that I had $400. Great idea. Do it again. I wish that I had $400. Maybe it I was wish just, that it's not. Maybe it, it's not working. Maybe it was just the bite but I took. I had took. a bite too. I think it was just that bit that I had. Are you sure it's the apple that did that? I I assume so. How'd you do I it? I wasn't able to do this earlier. I wish I had four hundred dollars. Wait, I have an idea. Uh, I wish we understood. <laughs> oh. Lost in their youth, dream manifesting. Sparkle, glimmer, shine Magic and colorful mystery Curiosity But if you don't know where the magic's from You gotta wish the answer to me Truth was that she always had more eyes But she never knew She only opened them up when her confidence grew When she told out the apple kid A whole lot of nothing that a wishing it was just a bad apple. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Metaphor? No. This song is based on a true story. Whoa. This happened to me. Hey, wanna see something? Oh. Such a cute caterpillar. Question. Do you think when a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly, he's like, Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> well, you can laugh all you want, Mr. SFX, but you gotta admit that it is kind of freaky. Because, uh -huh. for example, when I talk to myself, I'm like, You're pathetic. You should win more arguments. You know, the normal stuff. And so I wonder what happens in the head of a caterpillar before it transforms. I wonder if it's like, You can do this, man. You can reach the highest expression of self, body, and soul. And, and so he goes somewhere quiet, and he's like, fuck Facebook. And he leaves everything determined, unattached. And, and he believes in himself so much that suddenly, wings come out of his ass. That's nice. I also want wings coming out of my ass. All I I'm gonna be just like a caterpillar. All I gotta do is believe. Oh yeah. Myself. Okay, that was terrible. Terrible ending. <laughs> Shut up.
I don't want to do this. What do you mean you don't want to I'm do this? I'm just sick of these stupid little stories. They're My not stupid. My best friend explodes. <laughs> Brilliant. Here we go. Guess which one of us that's going to be. Well, I don't know. It could be either of us. Is my head expanding? I think my head is going to explode. It's not going to explode. That's what's going to happen. Hey, come on, you're just over-exaggerating. Well, well, this seems like you... a pretty weird and terrifying coincidence. My head... Yeah, well, maybe it's uh, getting a little... It is actually getting quite big. It's a lot bigger. Oh, and there's a countdown. Right, OK. 34 seconds. That is a little bit on ominous, actually. That's terrifying, Why yes. did it start at 35 seconds? I don't know. Listen, we've, I don't think we've got time to worry about that. What? It's 24 really now. Not long, then. Well, what, what do I do? What should I do? Well, you, I don't know. Say something profound or something. I love like, you. I love you. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I'm not I like that. No, like I don't like you like that. I don't, like a I'm sorry, just, man. Don't get stupid I've like just that. Got, We've got I've 10 just seconds got left. Well, you've got 10 seconds. So, well, so. come, don't, let's can, do look, connect in no, a profound human way. I don't want to do that. Let's just enjoy ourselves. Look, you'll be fine. Honestly, just chill. Whoa. I didn't see that coming. Yes. Neither did I. It's fine. You all right? Yeah. Excuse me, sir? Sir? Oh, hey, officer. Yeah, hi. Sorry to interrupt. I, I just had a quick question. Sure, no problem. What's up? I, I was wondering if you wanted to die today. What? Yeah, are you trying to put an end to this life that you're having? No, no, of course not. Because I, I pull up here and I look over to see you fiddling with your little gizmo and I, I think to myself, well, this guy must really want to die today. Look, it's a really important message and I, I just have to press one more button and then I'll be done. You press one more button and you'll be done. As in dead. Officer, please. And in the off chance that this has all been just a misunderstanding and you don't want to die, then I suggest that you don't press that button. I'm sorry, but I have to. I'm not joking around, sir. This is your last warning. Don't do it. Huh? Oh. Hey. Sorry, ma'am. We don't buy string at this pawn shop. Not since last time. No, it's what it's attached to. What's it attached to? A, a ball of string? How about the moon? This could be the big one. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what ballpark were you thinking of, you know, in terms of price? 35 quadrillion? Oh, uh, we only have, um, 1,800 in the drawer. Okay, that's fine. Oh, ah, okay. Well, hold on a minute. Do you have the deed? Yeah, but it's super old, so it's, like, hand-drawn and stuff. Uh, yeah, so can I borrow some paper? Oh, yeah, sure, here you cool. go. Cool, thanks. Dude, you just got bamboozled. You know, a lot of people come in here promising the moon, but I think she's legit. I'm sad. Well, how else do you explain the string? Okay, here you go. Thanks. Goodbye. I can't believe it. We own the moon, finally. You want to go check it out later? Uh, no. I'm going to go get some dinner. See you later. Hey friends, I love eating salad. I love it so much that I have a salad consult just for that purpose. So I'm gonna play my favorite game and what's cool is when I win, I get a salad to eat because I'm starving and I love salad. Um, okay, here we go. I'm gonna make a salad now.
pretty good. Not at all what I expected at all. I don't remember putting carrots on it. Wow, I really like onion. There's almost like a whole onion on here. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Well, I guess I'll take my first bite. Mmm. Really good. Okay, I'm gonna eat the rest of my salad now. Bye! Here's something interesting. When I brush my teeth by myself, I'm like, it's done. But when I brush next to someone, I'm like, let's see who brushes the longest. Let's see who cares about their dental hygiene more. <laughs> Suddenly I brush in circular motions and shit. Acting like that's what I do every single day. Every single day. She's giving a damn good fight. But there is no way I'm gonna finish before her. I always finish before her. Oh, got it? It was a pun. Puns are nice. How do you plan a space party? How? You plan it. Okay, puns are stupid. Anyway, I'm not going to finish before her. Even if it means totally ignoring the fact that I'm about to choke and die. Cause I got a reputation to keep. Just a few more seconds. I'm not going to break! Here we go! Here we go! <coughs> you came before me! And I never saw her again. Stay home and play lots of video games Watch the 
Thank you for watching. Based on our analysis of your viewing habits, search history, and deleted emails, we'd like to recommend these partners to you. Wherever Matt gloves, a stylish and subtle accessory to take you to the top, the bottom, the anywhere, the wherever. Wherever Matt gloves, the map you wear, the map you wherever. Earwind, the number one doctor recommended body weather regulator. Cool your spirits, cloth your sideburns, block the rumors, and blow your mind. Earwind, who's only as directed. The retirement crystal, who will you become? Only the retirement crystal knows for sure. Now available with rechargeable batteries. Simply calibrate your unique destiny, shake the crystal, and glimpse your most workforce future scape. Thank you for watching. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. standing in front of a very beautiful big brown house at 14 Rid Road. It's one of the most beautiful homes I've ever seen. I don't know who lives in it, but when I find out, I intend to ask them one question. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Why did you come here? I want to come into your house. Oh, no thank you. I'm sorry, were you trying to come into our house? Oh, I'm sorry. I was over there by the road, and I saw your house. And I thought it was so beautiful. Thank you. May I please enter right now? Can you give us one minute, please? Take your time. He's some kind of white cowboy in cowboy boots. So. Five minutes. Okay, fine. Hi. Hello. We've, uh, we've both decided to let you into our house. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm gonna come in right now. Is this a shoes-off household? No, please keep your shoes on. Here I come. I'm coming in. This is the home of Amy and John. They have lived together in this house for 10 happy years. They are not married or even dated. It's a beautiful modern home with unique interior decor, and I was lucky enough to get a personal tour. What room is this? This room is the hallway. Oh, cool. OK. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you want to see something?
What is that? This is a weapon we own. We keep it here. That's really cool. I, I really love that. I think that's so cool. Is this your soft couch? Yes. We watch television in the night. all this stuff. We collect little animated things here. This one says, imagine being so wealthy, your body stops moving. What about this? What the heck does that say? Oh, that one's just backwards. Oh. That says boundaries. Mm -hmm. This one says, I don't respect smaller white men. Oh, wow. And uh, where did you get these funny sayings? We got these animated sayings online. Like, a website? Yes. I want you to show me your bathroom now. Okay. Is this the mirror? Yes. Guess what? What? I brought some cookies and some coffee. Sound good? That sounds good. What I was thinking is we could eat the cookies and then drink some of the coffee. You like that? <laughs> I like that. After touring around the wonderful home of Amy and John, we have decided to take a little break and enjoy some cookies, some coffee, and some conversation. How you doing, John? Oh, good. Amy, you doing good? Pretty good, yeah. Now, John, do you love your mom and dad? Yeah, I love them. Amy, close with your parents? Not really. Why? My parents and I disagree about whether women should own property. That sucks. Mm -hmm. I hate that. John, don't you think it would be better if Amy reconnected with her parents? That's not really my place to say. When you go to the ocean, there's nothing more beautiful than when the wave crashes. Uh, and the sound it makes, make that sound. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you ever go swimming in, in a bathing suit, it's a bubble, a big bubble, and it looks like you have like a funny bathing suit? And then you yeah. let the bubble out, and people are like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the news is getting way too political, right? Was that music? It's not real music. Now, do any other people live in this house with you? Other people live in this house with us, but they're sleeping, so you can't meet them right now. That sucks. I love to meet new people. Do you want to peek in? Yeah.
wild idea. What if we put on fun outfits and then take self-portraits? Okay. I've got cool costumes. That's perfect. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Hold on, I have to change my ISO. Perfect. Hey, John. You look so funny dressed up in your baseball catcher outfit. Thanks, Alan. <gasps> and Amy. You look really funny dressed up like that firefighter that you're dressed up as. Okay. You look really funny in your outfit, too. Thanks. Oh. Oh. I'm having so much fun. I had an amazing day, but it was time to say goodbye to my new friends, Amy and John just as I suspected they had a truly lovely home. As I walked, I couldn't help but think how nice it would be to own a house. I thought about the housing market crash of 2008 and wondered if similar trends were in play today. If I owned a home, would it look like Amy and John's? Or would it look completely different? Would it look like me? Well, maybe someday I'll get to find out. Until then, I guess I'll just have to keep looking. Great coffee, Kathy. Keep it up. Incoming teleportation. Whoa, looks like we've got an incoming teleportation. Lock in on that signal, Kath. Decrypt, decrypt, decrypt. Decrypting. Upload, download, zip it up, unzip. Zipping. Come on, Kathy, hurry it up. Open it. Close it. Opening. Shut it down, Kathy. Reboot. Shutting down. Gotta get this signal locked on. Welcome to the space uh, or my welcome to the Starboat 737. My name is Dan. I'm the captain. It's been about seven or eight years since I've seen a human. If you would please just touch me, I would love to feel your skin against my skin. If you could just give me a smooch, one smooch, two smooches, three smooches, I would love to take some of the saliva that's in my mouth, put it in yours, and then pop it back in mine. Kathy's a cold, hard clunk of junk. She can't give me the love that flesh can. <laughs> That's just anxiety. Cat reverse the teleporter to shut down the uh, portal. How you doing back there, sweetie? Everything good? Aw, oh, thanks for asking, Mom. I really appreciate it. But to be honest, it's gotten, like, super hot inside of the car, and I'm curious if we could crack open a window or something. Oh, of course. Let's get you a little fresh air. Whoa, Mom, look. It's a birdie. Hey, wow, you're absolutely right. And it's flying so close to us, too. I bet I could even touch it if I really tried. <laughs> tickle, tickle. All right, Brandon, that's enough. Time to put your hand back in the car. But, Mom, he likes it, see? Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> you're not listening to me, Brandon. Whoa! See? 
you to put your hand back inside the... All right, sweetie, okay. Don't worry, just calm down, take deep breaths, try to relax. There. I think that's more than enough fresh air for one day. Sleep well, kiddo. Okay, here's your $45. Oh, wow, thanks. Wait, what's this for? You know what it's for. Those gorgeous front doors. What? The front doors aren't for sale. Oh, that's weird. Hey, uh, Spec, big Normando for a seat. Nah, no, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, come on, you know I'm not good with that stuff. Now that there's, uh, legal tender. I don't want to call the fuzz. No, 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 no. Hold on, I'll draw you up a receipt. Here you go, pal, but uh, I've got to ask, what are you going to do with the doors? I'm not going to do a thing with them. Don't you dare touch my door! I'm going to be late for work. You know, uh, Normando, tell you what, let me buy the doors back for double what you just paid. I'll tell you what, I'll trade them for, um, the fuse box. Okay, fine. Anything but the doors. I'm going to be late for work. Shut up, Steve. So the other day, I walked around cactuses. Cactuses. Cactuses? Cacti? Do you say cacti or cactuses? Why would you say cacti? Okay, okay, you know what? I'll say them both. I was walking around cactuses cactuses, and I was like, poor cactus. What must have happened for this guy to cover up his body with spines? It's like throughout million years of evolution, he probably got hurt again and again and he was like, go away, leave me alone. And so he thickened his skin, and he pulled out a few thorns here and there, but it didn't help. And so he ended up, look, like completely covered with knives. You know, I wish I could tell him, Mr. Cactus, relax. Everybody here is trying to figure it out, but I can't because it's a cactus. Cacti don't talk. Wait, now I have to check if it's cacti or cactuses. Why can't I finish one thought before I have to Google something? Okay, great. Apparently you can say both cactuses and cacti. I wish I was less distracted. 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 Anyway, yeah. Silent. Everything you say or don't say will be used against you in a court of law. I hereby sentence you to death row. Wait, this is a dog. You're right. I'm fine. <coughs> My best friend, Snyabr. What? 
Snyawur. Snyawrum. Snyawur. I can't. Doesn't make any. You're. Snyawrum. Make it three. You're speaking backwards. Snyawrum. Make it three. No, 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 no. You are. No, it's you here. On, on, no, on, no, on, on, no. Yes, yes. We, we see. We were saying no. That's now. So what's hello? Hello. Yes, yes. Hello. That's it. Hello. Ole. Ole. Hello. Okay. So you need to learn how to speak in reverse. Oh, why me? Because I'm not gonna do it. That's not fair. Don't be such a baby about it. How no baby? Well, you're acting like one. I'm not living my life in rewind. Come on, man, don't be like that. I'm a magic bowling ball, and I'll grant you one strike. But first, I need to be polished. You look like you got some experience. <laughs> Ow. Uh, it's no wonder you're bald. Prepare to have a stroke. Uh, strike. I meant to say strike. talking to our neighbors about the upcoming election. Do you have a minute? Help. Okay, great. Uh, would you mind signing this petition to support same-day voter registration? I'm gonna make 
make this very clear, Dan. You are supposed to go on one single date with each ugly, lonely loser who signs up for the website. You're not supposed to be going on three consecutive dates with the same person. And according to your brain chip, you've fallen in love. But I was in love with her. She wasn't in love with me, so I don't know if it's that... It's the one rule, Dan. It's on the banner above my head. The one rule here at Stardate is that you don't fall in love with someone, and you certainly don't go on a second or a third date with Okay, well, I didn't notice the banner. I'm sorry. Well, I find that hard to believe, Dan, because there's several mirrors in my office perfectly positioned to bounce the image of the banner directly into your eyes. And inscribed upon the surface of the mirror is text which reads, this mirror is perfectly at eye level, so don't even think about lying about not seeing the banner. So you're fired. Ah, shoot. You know what, Kathy? I don't really mind working in the meat industry. There's no people around. People let you down. Meat doesn't. Meat's always there for you. Meat doesn't talk back. Meat doesn't say no. Uh, you're supposed to cut the meat, Dan. You're not supposed to kiss it, or suck it, or fall in love with it. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't know that was a rule. Well, I find that hard to believe, because the bushes that you walk past every morning have clearly been trimmed to read, Suck on the meat, you're gonna get fired. Okay, well, I didn't know that that message was intended for me. Well, that's why we hired the Skyriders. So you're fired. Oh, shoot. Sign here. Be here tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock sharp. Oh my.
Have you seen the boss lately? Why do you always wear that hat? This is a safe house. No one can find us in the safe house except for the boss. What do you think happens if we take all of these drugs? We're supposed to sell drugs. Not do drugs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take these drugs. Me too. I should have never become a drug dealer. But here goes nothing. to maintain Now I'm going to call the ambulance. I'm just over here typing emails that I want to send. Now I'm calling the police. Hello. We used to be drug dealers, but now we've taken all of our drugs and there's nothing left to sell. The boss is here. He wants us to fight to the death. this. Drug dealing is a brotherhood. Sometimes, sons kill their fathers when sons are drug dealers, and their fathers are the boss of drug dealers. King is in hot pursuit, Kathy. He's coming after us. Punch it, Kathy, punch it. Accelerating. Aw, oh, man, I knew stealing this alien's crown would come back to haunt us. Incoming transmission. Hey, it's me, the alien king. I'm just wondering why you stole my crown. I'm glad you asked. Kathy, roll the presentation. Step one, we steal your crown. And we've done this, so st uh, step two, we go to Slave Planet, which is the planet that you're the king of, and we're gonna sell your crown on the streets for some scratch. Uh, step four, once we get the crown money, we're, we're gonna use the crown money to pay every slave a living wage. 
the shackles of, of the, every slave will be free and will be heroes and, and uh, they will erect a golden statue in my honor. You'll never get away with all of that. Oh, but we already did. What? While you were distracted watching that incredibly entertaining high-octane presentation, Kathy and I snuck off and, and we went down to Slave Planet. Everything that was in the presentation that you just saw, we did for real. How did you even have time? Slave Planet is now free. Okay. So I was at a bar trying to look like a normal person and I saw this dude playing a video game shooting animals and stuff. He was so into it and I didn't understand why. So I went to try it out and the moment the game started I was like, I'm gonna kill you Bambi. Suddenly I was shooting all over the place like a maniac. The bunnies were running away from me. Birds were trying to save their babies because I am the darkness. And this is what I do for fun. Shooting some birds on a which is strange. We have the ability to create imaginary worlds, limitless potential we can interact with, and somehow we end up being assholes even there. Couldn't there be a game that is like, oh, a deer, I'm gonna fucking pet it. A squirrel, I'm gonna dance with it like goddamn Snow White. Yo, bunny boy, I'm gonna build you a tiny jacuzzi. Okay, that's a weird game. But don't you think it would be nice to master the skill of shining out some love? Yeah. You know what? I think I'm gonna do a Kickstarter. Hey everybody! I came up with an idea for a cool game where you get to hang out with frogs and help the baboons. And all I ask is just like... Uh, Nobody cares about my idea. That's uh, quite a scratch you just gave me. You mind telling me what happened? Uh, I'm sorry. It was an accident. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. I just think I'm owed some sort of explanation here. That's all. Well, I was trying to change lanes, so I looked over my shoulder, but then... Shh, wait. Did you hear that? Hear what? Listen. There it is again. It's the sound of somebody lying to my face. Now I know I'm not the smartest guy in town, but I think I'm able to tell the difference between an accident and intentional violence. My only hope is that you've enjoyed yourself, because I can guarantee that you're not going to get away with any of it. So don't worry. I'm sure we can work something out. Just get home safely, okay? Kathy, close the blinds. Closing. I don't want space to see me cry. The 
actually, Kathy, oh, reopen them. Okay. I wanna, I'm gonna stare out into space and I'm gonna say, Kathy, I know we can't go back, but God, I miss my home planet. I'm jealous of the jellyfish that swim in the ocean. I'm pining for the smell of a pine tree. I wanna run across a field just to give a hug to a bear and I don't wanna be disconnected in a goddamn spaceship going who's not, who knows? Oh, I'm sorry, Kathy, I'm just a little bit homesick. Oh, is this like a solution to my, uh, Oh, thank, thank you, Kathy. This is, this is amazing. There's, There's the field. And the bear. I'm doing the virtual dishes. Look at me. I'm taking a virtual shower. Back, or a virtual vacuum. Uh, I don't know. Part of me kind of knows that this is just... Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess I could go... Look at me. I'm doing the virtual, virtual dishes. Taking a virtual shower. Virtual, virtual vacuum. I don't know if this is healthy, Kathy. I learned a valuable lesson today, Kathy. True happiness is only obtainable if you become completely disconnected from reality. Thanks, Kathy. feel good. Uh, yeah? I think I know the problem, but let's do a couple tests. Alright. Mm-hmm. Same from every angle. Yep. Yeah. What this chart shows here is that you're all two-dimensional and, you know, crappy. But what you want to be is three-dimensional and badass. Oh, you look at that. Oh. See, this is your body's reaction to being generally boring and bad to look at. Okay, alright. Is there any danger to the procedure? Oh yes, tons. But your life sucks now, so I'm a doctor and I say just go for it. Though it is pricey. Uh, what'll three dollars get me? Alright everybody, we're gonna have a uh, sale on VHS tapes. I can pay you back. I just, I lost my meat job because I was sucking on the meat and I just need a little bit of money to make my starboat payment. No. Stanley. Your mother and I are going to the store. Watch your baby brother. 
and I'll think about it. No, no, Dad. Jeremy is a total dingbat. Look at him. Sweetest little sapling. You are a rainbow in a monochromatic world. I love you so much more than any other adopted non-orb son that I have. Okay, goodbye, my little baby Jeremy. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Uh, Jeremy? Hello, sons. Oh my god, baby Jeremy! What did you do, Dan? Well, I was just, I was showing him some slides of strangers' faces, and then you know, each time I show him a new slide, I would scream at baby Jeremy, uh, you know, so that when he grows up and he sees a stranger, he'll be like, ah, you know, I should be scared of that. I don't know, I think he just got scared to death. You took the joy from my life, Dan! Right, but if, if I could just get paid for the time that he was alive... I gotta go buy a baby, a baby orb-sized coffin now. Like, once he perished, I'm off the clock. I get that. I just... gotta go... Oh, oh, God. What's up with Dad? I think he's just upset because he's getting older and you killed his son. Yeah. Here's some Starbucks for your space book. Here's some space bucks for your Starbucks penis. Oh, thanks, Mom. You're the best. Oh, that was weird. That was, yeah, great. Here we go again. Fantastic. Why are you so negative all the time? It's just tiring. It seems exhausting. My best friend, N. Ends. Ends. Great. It, I'm that's up not for that. What are you doing? Uh, you can do this one on your own. I'm out. See you later. Ends. Yes. Ends. This is a big deal. Oh, listen, I've been rewound. I've been blown up. I am whatever ends means. Uh, it can't be as bad ends as means any of that. At the, at the end. Death end doesn't mean the end. It couldn't mean we die. There's no such thing as it's the end. It's sad. <laughs> it's not sad. You're you're my best friend. You're my best friend. Well, we won't be any more at the end. I feel weird. So do you look at it? I'm, 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 my head is... Just relax. I'm just, it's gonna be... I'm, I'm, right. My head is... My head... I feel like I can see nothing. I feel like I can see everything. I told you there wouldn't be an ending. This feels a bit like it's just beginning. So I went to the pharmacy to buy a shampoo and suddenly I realized the shampoos they make for girls are so good like daffodils in the wind, cherry blossom, rainbows with a touch of orgasm and the shampoos they make for guys are like ice, gunpowder, war, you wanna wash your hair? Wash it like a man, burn it! I don't want my hair to smell like an invasion, so I'm conflicted. Cause on one hand, I'm a man, but on the other, I would like some rainbows with a touch of orgasm, please. But a man gotta do what a man gotta do. It's not 
My name's Dan. I love to hang out, have fun, and I also love to fly around in my starboat. I'm looking for a real relationship. Someone who's funny, trusting, kind. Who knows? Maybe it's you. Ready to find my perfect soulmate, Kathy. Ooh! Dinner? Yes. Um, so what do you do for a living? Well, I work at Stardate. Uh, it's my job to go on dates with the people who sign up for the website. Oh, okay. I, I just, I kind of thought I'd be like, like meeting a random person. Well, normally that is how it would work, but uh, it looks like your profile scored a 0% matchability, which basically just means that there's no one anywhere who would ever be interested uh, in you. So the company sends me out and I go on a date with you. That way we can advertise that 100% of users get a date within 24 hours. I love working at Stardate, you know, I got flexible hours. And I don't feel like a cog in a machine, you know, I, I feel more like a lever or a switch. Hi, my name's Dan and I'm Stardate's newest employee. Are you a life form on Stardate who was exiled because you received a zero? Well, don't worry, because I'm here to go on a date with you. I also received a 0% matchability. This is the only way that I can get a date too. Everyone wants to be loved, but we can't. There's just not that many people out there and you're not that great. My name's Dan and I'm ready to date some losers. Let's eat raw chicken now, drown me in chicken now. Let's eat raw chicken with me. I like to slap raw chicken on my thighs It's the only thing that makes me feel alive I like to eat raw chicken on Sundays too I like to wear raw chickens like a shoe I like the taste of salmonella on my tongue When I pass out I know that I am done It's the only way that I can have fun I like raw chicken even though it killed my son I like the way raw chicken feels on my feet I like to stomp on gobs of uncooked meat I like to play catch up raw chicken in the street, I like to throw raw chicken as I run from police. I can't help it, I'm a raw chicken guy. I never wanted my son to die. Raw chicken usually doesn't make me sick. I thought he could handle it. I've been on the run from town to town, eating raw chicken all around. My family's upset and they want closure. I gotta hang on till this blows over. Moshi Moshi, uh, Shockley's Pawn Shop. Hi, I signed up for the instant delivery service recently and... Oh, uh, okay, what's your name? My name is Corbelli Giborbo Bilto Bobble. And your password? Pee pee poo poo. Okay, well, what's the problem? So I didn't realize this instant delivery meant this creepy ass guy was gonna stand outside my damn house until I ordered something. Also, he killed my neighbors. Uh, I understand your concern, but uh, our delivery technician ensures you get your packages instantaneously. But I ordered these entire dancing pills, and it says delivery is six to eight weeks, but I need them now or I'll dance myself to death. I understand your concern, but uh, that is not an eligible item. What items are eligible? Because my anti psychedelic pills aren't on there either. Uh, currently, uh, one item. And it is what? It is a, uh, coffin for, uh, dead people. Oh. Well, I guess I'll just order the coffin now. My duty is performed. I am free. I like sitting on benches. Benches are like a free seat to a really cool show. Who needs reality shows when you have reality? It's like high-definition, interactive, ultra-immersive 3D stuff with no special glasses needed. And the bench is like a reminder. It's like, dude, pay attention. There are a lot of stories around, and they're so elegant. Human. And the actors are actually good. They're so real. Everybody deserves an Oscar when you're sitting on a bench. And take a look at the costume design. Nice stuff. And the makeup, props. Everything is so detailed, I'm telling you, sitting on a bench makes Hollywood look bad. And the set design, look at this work, wow, wow. Somebody please get me the set designer on the phone. <laughs> we need more benches. Benches for world peace. We need more reminders to sit, to relax, and enjoy the show. Benches. Binge watch the world.
Nice. Load the therapist program. Loading selfhelp.exe. And how does that make you feel? I just feel like a failure. You know, I, I, I tried to free a planet full of slaves, but I just ended up getting them all blown up. And how does that make you feel? I'm terrible at, at connecting with people. And how does that make you feel? Dating. And how does that... I killed my little brother. On accident. I just, f I feel like... <sighs> I put the coin in. I put it in. I put... I, I, I... Warning. Warning. Danger. Tell me how to fix my brain. What's the starboat made of, Dan? Uh, a space metal? No. What's the starboat made of? It's made of space metal. No, 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 no. It's, it's made of fear, Dan. It's powered by self-doubt, and it smells like the Murrieta trash dump by the 215. All aboard for cardboard. That's a rough, convoluted joke, but the point that I'm making with it is succinct and Kathy, uh, turn off the therapy program. Deleting self-help.exe. Isolation is easier for you to deal with than rejection. Kathy, shut it off. You've got to listen to me. There's a way that you can stop all this. <laughs> so therapy's a total waste of time. I 
noticed you didn't leave out any milk and cookies. Thank you for watching. Based on our analysis of your psychic frequency, permanent record, and unique destiny, we'd like to recommend these partners to you. Mr. Doctor's Mind Liquid. This critically acclaimed sensational serum will saturate your cerebellum. Buy now and get a bonus bottle of liquid facts. The essential brew of a true thank you. The X-ray candle. Light up your life of the party with this captivating motive. Whether you're diagnosing yourself or bringing secrets to light, the X-ray candle can see through it all. Now available in Animal Pro. Dog Autographs, Volume 9. From the people who brought you Lizards in Costume, the Collector's Edition, and Food Shaped Like Pizza That Aren't Pizza, comes the newest edition of Mongrel Monikers. Ah, just look at them. Thank you for watching. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program.